Hello, you're watching Avenue X, where a junkie on good storytelling shares her thoughts, knowledge, and occasional weird ideas on stories and how they're told. Jing Cha Rongyu, Ordinary Greatness, is a 38 episodes contemporary drama that has just finished airing in China on both the web platform iQIYI and CCTV8 satellite television station. The drama is produced by iQIYI. Directed by Ding Hei as an original script, not based on any existing material, written by two scriptwriter Zhao Dongling and Tan Jiayan. The drama is led by Zhang Ruoyun, Bai Lu, Xu Kaicheng, Cao Lu as the four main young policemen, plus the older generation of policemen who would act mostly like their teachers and mentor in the police station, played by Wang Jingchun, Ning Li. Zhao Yang and many other people. The drama is shot in the city Qingdao in Shandong Province from the very end of April last year to September. And since this is a focused on a specific police station drama, that police station is fully built. The exterior light were completely done by studio lighting. Comparing to another drama that is airing at the same time, which also uses a lot of artificial lighting within a studio space. To fake the exterior light, this drama has done an outstanding job. With the knowledge of the entirety of this drama, I'll give it a two point seven gold mine. It's just that tad bit away from a full, convincing, well deserved. I have no problem at all. Three gold mine. I'll tell you later in this review what part of it may not be so satisfying or enjoyable to watch. Quickly. Put the gist of this drama together. It is focused on four young police men and women. They just graduated from police academy or other universities, and they're fresh newbies. They have to go to this community police station and work there. Eventually, if they don't make any mistakes and they work fine, they're gonna become formal. Proper policemen, and they have extremely different educational, family background, and different personalities, and it's. Definitely, totally, intentionally written like that, so you can have the most amount of possibilities of things happening. They get assigned to an older, more experienced policeman acting as their mentor. So the story goes to look at four different newbie policemen with their shift, what they deal with at a community level based police station. Your car is parked in my slot, and I call the police. That type of Problems that they have to deal with. Now let's go into the specifics. First, I want to talk about the positive things. I'm just gonna roughly break it down to two categories. One is on the acting, casting, performance that side of things. The other one is on the story itself. So first, on actors and acting, one of the best I've seen this year. It is directed by Ding Hei, who is a very very experienced director. Probably the last drama he did that made a big. Impression on my audience and probably also just in that year's drama is 那年花开月正圆 So you know this is a pretty solid director knows how to direct actors and how to utilize what's best of each person. For the younger actors, thanks to the script's groundedness, solid. Characters than what they usually get in drama land these days. The only one I'm not very familiar with is Cao Lu, but the other three actors, Xu Kaicheng, Zhang Ruoyun, Bai Lu, they all have been in very idle, very period, for the popular young actor-oriented dramas. The selling points of those dramas were costumes, the beautiful time setting, and the unusual cool character abilities. But in this drama, they're just normal, ordinary. People and with that, it really shows certain actors may be much better suited for certain dramas. Zhang Ruoyun, if you consider every facade of an actor and every skills and every tools in the box that they can use, he is pretty good、uh, compared to the same age range actors in China right now. So basically, his delivery of his role in that way is very convincing, but it totally fits my expectation of his ability. Then for the other ones, the one actually delivered the most surprise to me is Xu Kaicheng because of his previous、uh, cringy toe grabbing and performances in a couple of period dramas. <coughs> yeah, if you've watched Chinese dramas for a while, you know, okay, where his acting is weird, he just. Can't seem to control his facial expressions. He doesn't even know where to place his bodies and limbs, and his line delivery is all weird. Just when you think he can't act and he's hopeless, this drama comes along, and this role is just so perfect for him. And immediately he becomes so much more likable. So it really made me think of that expression. 
that means there really isn't trash in this world. There's only misplaced resources. And his acting flows so much better in this drama. I think he needs to do more contemporary dramas, more realistic roles. It, it, it suits him so much better than the paper dramas. Uh, Cao Lu, I don't know about this actor at all before, but he is a really good actor. And I think he should work towards the serious actor end of things, where it's not because of you, your super good look or a certain charismatic part of you that you become a leading man of a drama, but then for the golden supporting roles he probably will be such a good fit. In comparison, actually, Bai Lu comes probably, in my opinion, as the weakest of the four. Her role isn't so well worked out and too focused on that one thing of her childhood trauma that's like the only thing that's important to her. And she doesn't have any other space and any other possibilities to play with. It's not like she delivered a bad performance, but compared to the other three, less interesting. But overall, these four young actor-actress did a really good job. And then we have to praise the older ones. Oh my god, these these guys made this drama. I'm just gonna quickly mention Wang Jingchun, Ning Li, and Zhao Yang. Somehow they are all from Zi Jingchen's adapted ITE dramas previously. Long Night and uh, Bad Kids. Without these three guys, the drama will not be half as interesting. Wang Jingchun plays Suo Zhang, the head, the chief, the lead of that community police station. The soul, the bone, the center. That without him, it wouldn't be the same place. How should I describe it? Basically, if Earth doesn't have a film, television, visual storytelling industry for whatever reason, we don't have the technology, we never thought about doing that, he incarnates into our world, then it will be an unfairness of the universe to put him in our time and space where there isn't a film or television industry. That's how I would describe Wang Jingchun's acting. Ning Li, also such a great actor. You wouldn't think of him as like super good looking in any sense, right? But think about all the roles in recent years that you probably have watched of him playing a serial killer, of him playing a lawyer, of him playing a spy. And now a middle-aged suffering from a lot of personal problem community-based policemen. He can just fit into it any kind of characters. And he doesn't need to do like change my hair or change my look or anything. He just, just stand there and he is his character. <sighs> Having him and particularly Zhang Yuanyun playing the that particular pair of mentor and apprentice. Oh, ah, so enjoyable. And then Zhao Yang as well. An actor when he was younger was actually known for being girl looking. The type of Shu Sheng the scholar, the ancient, good-looking, very clean-cut young man who's well-educated in his middle age, who totally is a different person. You can't almost recognize it's him. But he is also so perfect for this drama and his particular role. And a lot of audiences while watching this drama would say it just makes so much sense that they cast Zhao Yang as this role because when he was younger, he really would be that type of dashingly good-looking young man that the wife character would give up everything to marry, which is how the story is set up. And his acting is just also... <sighs> so acting costume part of this drama made it successful probably for at least half of the success comes from this part and then the other half comes from the story itself. It's so rare that you get a police drama like this. When it concerns police in Chinese drama and these days, you see usually anti-drug <laughs> stories, how many we've had already and how many more are coming, or the crime crackdown stuff, going against local gangster group or corruptions of higher ups. Plus the more on the criminal investigation, like Under the Skin, like Dr. Qin Ming, that the first season was actually led by Zhang Ruoyun. So if you think about police dramas, you almost only have those three types in China. And now you have this one, which totally takes a different angle. It really is just about ji mao suan pi, chicken feather and garlic skin. So tiny things, light and messy. And as community-based, policemen. That's what they deal with every day. Like somebody lose their keys and cannot get into their apartment. They call police or their pet when missing. They have to go and respond to that call. And this drama really doesn't resolve to giving all those little but super annoying problems a perfect resolution. An idealized everybody come together, shake their hands and become good friends type of ending. They just try to find a way to calm it down and make it go back to normal 
And there's a lot of compromise in this drama. It doesn't try to make it great and grand and ideal. I just really am thankful for the writer to do that to most of the problems, conflicts, and the characters' troubles. When I was on Discord, I did discover a lot of um, people who are not familiar with Chinese policemen and what is different between Chinese policemen and a lot of other countries' policemen. They found it's really unusual to see policemen actually respond to calls like this. It's like my chicken went missing. Which in a lot of countries, it wouldn't be the policeman's job to deal with these things. And I think this is really great drama in that sense that it introduced these two people who are outside of China who have very different police systems. It is true that in China, community policemen are like this. <laughs> and if you want to research further into this and find it quite fascinating, there's a great series, although I don't think there's English subtitle, that's a problem, that's on Bilibili, produced by Bilibili. It's running into its fourth season called Xi, which is a documentary, so it's not a drama. It's actually going to a Hunan province local sort of community-based police station filming their daily life and cases they run into and weird things and bizarre things and little things that happen every day. It's very similar in terms of what those policemen deal with day in day out as compared to this drama, Qing Cha Rong Yun. I don't think there's another program like that anywhere in this world. And it's fascinating to see just how unimaginably weird life can be and the weird little things that doesn't really have a huge consequence that the police may have to deal with, but nonetheless, almost unimaginable for scriptwriters to create. So if this drama has sort of excited your desire to check out more real stuff of community policemen, I highly, highly recommend this series from Billy Billy. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description, but then yeah, the subtitle probably is gonna be a big problem. So I've said the great things about this drama. Now let me say why I didn't give it a full three gold mine. I think as a storytelling of 38 episodes, it still can work a little bit on its structure. You would almost feel the first half of the drama or like the first 20 episodes and the later so 15 episodes are two different dramas. And I feel in the process of telling a story, they still have to resolve to some very, uh, I wouldn't say tropey, but too familiar ways of setting up characters and resolving them. There's intentionally set up conflicts and character arcs that kind of functions as the classic. We have to have this type of character and plot at least once. You almost feel they have to do that. So at the end, without spoiling it, you're gonna come across a character's arc that resolves in a way that I think is a little bit too pushing for the dramatic. Kind of going against the, at the beginning, set up daily routine police work. So it has that quality of not quite sitting comfortably with itself, especially as it moved towards the end, as they have this long buried thread of a case that happened earlier, gradually leading to something and resolving at the end, that is going for the traditionally very heightened dramatic police drama that I don't think actually it fits so well with the overall tone of this drama. Also, there's another thing I have to warn you, okay? It could be a really negative thing for you to watch this drama if you have a very strong sense of empathy, easily get moved by other people's emotion. The first half of this drama is gonna give you many, many uh, heart attacks <laughs> and blood pressure explosion moments. You're gonna come across unbearable old men insane mothers and then they come back over and over and over and you feel like your blood boils. You kind of have to be a saint of patience and kindness and understanding and generosity to, to be able to sit through all of those points and not go exploding at least once. And I know it's actually happening every day in real life. You would say this is the success of the drama, being able to capture that and put it on screen and in a way that is just so convincing and effective. But also, on the other hand, you're like, life is fucked up anyway. It's 2022. There aren't that many people who are doing very well in this world, let's be honest. They're like, why do I need an extra thing to make me feel I don't wanna stay on earth anymore? So that's my warning. If you are really sensitive, all right, and you know you're gonna get triggered like hell. Warn you, see it coming, just turn away. Mental peace, okay? Keep your mental peace. Uh, you're gonna need it. <laughs> We're all gonna need it for a long time to come. So that would be my final review on this drama. I'm very happy I came across this drama. I enjoyed it 
immensely. It's not perfect, and it made me very, very uncomfortable <laughs> many times. But doesn't change the fact it's a great drama. It's a rare drama. It's the one and only almost of a police drama these days from Chinese drama land. And I hope this review has been useful for you to decide whether you should go into watch this community policeman from China's chicken fly dog jump life day in day out. Thank you for watching. I have new eggs. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.